kiddos, this is your fairy godmother, Miss Kitty. Thank you for joining me for story time. Today we're going to read a cute little book called Freddy in His Own Bed. Written by Regita Pitts and illustrated by Sinem Kilik Rebito. Message of the day. You are kind, important, and you can do anything you put your mind to. Well, let's get started. Come and help us paint, Freddy, said Mommy. Mommy gave Freddy a paintbrush and told him where to paint. Why are we painting this room? asked Freddy. Because you're turning three soon, said Mommy. And we think big boys who are three need their own bedroom, added Daddy. Just for me? asked Freddy. Yes, what do you think? asked Daddy. Freddy shrugged. Hmm. He didn't know the words to explain that he was excited about getting his own room, but that he was also a bit nervous about things changing. Mommy seemed to understand anyways. It's okay, buddy, she said. It will take a few days to decorate the room and get the furniture. You'll still be in your crib in our room for a little while. Freddy nodded happily and went back to painting his corner. Slowly, the room turned into a bedroom. There was a bed, all new and rustling in plastic. There was furniture that Mommy and Daddy put together while Freddy watched a wardrobe, a bookshelf, and a chest of drawers. Then, one day, Mommy and Daddy pulled the plastic wrapping off the bed and made it up with sheets and a duvet set. Freddy saw it and his eyes were huge. There's cars, he said in delight, and trucks. I love cars. Daddy laughed. <laughs> we know, buddy. We thought you would like this bedding set. Freddy nodded, stroking the pillow happily. There was a beautiful bright blue truck right where his head would go. But Freddy still slept in his old crib in Mommy and Daddy's room that night. The next day was Freddy's birthday. He had a party. Granny and Grandpa came, uncles and aunties came, lots of cousins came, and so did friends from playgroup. Freddy ate lots of good things and played hard. Later, when everyone was gone, Freddy had a bath and then cuddled up between Mommy and Daddy. Want to try out your own bedroom tonight? asked Daddy. In your new bed with all your cars? Freddy nodded sleepily. Mommy and Daddy took him into his bedroom, tucked him into his new bed, and read him his favorite story about a truck that goes on an adventure. Freddy was asleep before the truck came back home to tell all his friends about his travels. Later, Freddy woke up with a jump. It was all dark. And it was too quiet. He was used to hearing Mommy and Daddy sleeping noises, gentle snores, tummy rumbles, and breathing. I'll go sleep in my crib, thought Freddy, climbing out of his bed. Into Mommy and Daddy's bedroom, but his crib wasn't there. Mommy sat up. What's the matter, Freddy? I'm scared, said Freddy. I want my crib. Oh, buddy. Mommy picked him up. We packed it away. It's too small for you now anyway. Mommy took Freddy back to bed and tucked him in. Now try to get back to sleep, she said. I know it feels strange in here, but you'll soon get used to it. Just remember, everything is yours. There's nothing scary in here. Okay, said Freddy. Mommy stayed until Freddy had fallen asleep again, then tiptoed back to her bed. But the next night, Freddy asked for three glasses of water. He wanted Mommy and Daddy to visit him in his bedroom. The night after that, he asked for five bedtime stories. He wanted Mommy and Daddy to stay with him as long as possible. After that, he needed his teddy bear, the old brown one that was in the attic. He wanted Mommy and Daddy to spend a long time helping him get ready for bed. And after that, 
He wanted to know why Daddy was allowed to stay up late all by himself. Mommy sat on his bed and said, Daddy's got emails to read, Freddy. And it's not Daddy's bedtime yet. But why do you ask that? I miss you when Daddy is sleep time, said Freddy. I don't like being just by myself. I'm scared you and Daddy will forget me. Oh, buddy, said Mommy. We will never forget you. We miss you too. But you are getting big and need your own room. Don't you know, Daddy and I both check on you during the night. We peep into your room and make sure you are safe and sound. Really? asked Freddy. Really, said Mommy. Are you ready to sleep now? Freddy nodded. He was happy knowing that Mommy and Daddy still thought about him all through the night. He snuggled down as Mommy read the story. And he fell fast asleep and dreamed that the blue truck on his pillow was waiting for him. They were going on an adventure, driving all night through the land of Nod. The end. And that was the story of Freddy and his own bed. Thank you, kiddos, for joining me for story time. If you'd like to support the author by purchasing Freddy in His Own Bed for your home library, you can do so at Amazon.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again. Ciao for now. Fairy Godmother Miss Kitty's story time and letter of the day is G. G for Gorilla. Won't you say that word with me, kiddos? G, 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 for gorilla. All right, that's it. See you soon.